Is that one on Skibby, Roger? Yeah, 410 rides on that, man. Definitely a 410 rides on that, man. I'm just glad she decided to finally open up. I didn't think she was going to do it. I didn't think she was going to do it, but God bless her for doing it there, Tempo. Ten rides on that, that three zero one. Yeah, I got some jams going, man. Got some doggone jams going, man. Listen to some doggone, uh, uh, man, what am I listening to? Bad Company? Yeah, I'm listening to some doggone Bad Company there, four times. a real blessed dog on night, man. Keep on pumping and bumping that thing down in the world of sound because it sounds real good in my duck fucking town. 301, audio man getting all the way down. Ten on that, Mr. Outlaw. As you roll into Canton, Ohio, you give me no choice but to say hello. There you go. Outlaw, your audio man is gone. And I got it all because you said it all out loud. I do appreciate you thumping and bumping it down in the world of sound to let me know you were still out there somewhere around. Mr. Outlaw, audio man, gone. Rides on that there, 301. Or, uh, <laughs> Outlaw, my bad. Do appreciate you letting me know my radio's doing something kind of good out there. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Well, jump on in there, neighbor. Jump on in there, man. Get on in there. Yeah, I'm just here listening, you know. in there kind of with each other all at once. Hello to you both. 282. Hey, 282, man. You sound real good. You all, you got my needle pack. Whatever you're doing over there, keep on doing it. 301, Central Alabama said so. All right, there, 301. Same back here, man. You're about, uh, just about 10 over, so. Sounded good. Just on this little three-element beam here. Nothing, uh, nothing exciting at all. Roger on that. I'm just working this shock wave. Ground plane, five eighths ground plane, it's only about 20 feet in the air. That got me a two pushing a 10, and that's about it, Roger. There you go, that's the way to do it. Uh, well, I'm not awake here. All right, here, 301, take care. I gotta step out a second. Try to wake up a little bit here. Catch you later, 301, 282. All right, 282, man, sounding good. 301, Central Alabama, back stepping. I'm sitting here falling asleep, man. Yeah, it was kind of the idea here. I think I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. Hello to you. I think that was Outlaw down there in, uh, shit, where were you? That's right, Outlaw in Mississippi. Well, good morning to you, or evening, whatever time it is there. 282, we're on the Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, 
Good morning. Hey, uh, 288, well, it's getting hot in here already. <laughs> we have to do something about that. And I think I'm gonna go make some coffee. Hey, brother, go on, make your dog on pot of coffee. Remember, you gotta work tomorrow, man. You can't be up all these hours of the dog on night. <laughs> and I did hear that other rascal out there getting up in there, too. And I'm gonna say, uh, good morning time to him, also, ain't no doubt. Go on, make your coffee. Audio man's back on the mail. All right, audio Yeah, 410 on that. Yeah, good morning right back. I heard on it's 1218. Well, brother, it's 120 in the morning around my neighborhood there. Zero, Alabama. Good morning. Zero, Alabama. Good morning right back to you down there around Alabama, man. Good morning time right back. Good morning. 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 There, that one should be a, a medium spot. All right. Yeah, I heard someone yell. Go ahead, I'm listening. I don't know what happened out there. I think Mother Nature kind of changed things around a little bit on us. I am not too sure what Mother Nature is doing with my receiver. Break up, break up. I heard you, I did, Mr. 240. Hey, 240, I heard it loud and proud that time around, ain't no doubt. Tip top of the morning to you. This is I am your audio man. Yeah. Yeah, Mother Nature came in there and snook you right out of my doggone radio. Give it another try. Come on back in there, 240. Give it another shot there. Break off. Oh boy, it almost looks like that's all she wrote. I don't know what Mother Nature's got in store, but it's not looking real good right here, right now. Ain't that a doggone mess. Audio man, round Canton, Ohio. We're sitting on the ease. Drop inside. Yeah, audio man, you still blow smoke Mississippi. There ain't no doubt. We got conditions. <laughs> I heard all we got conditions down around Mississippi. That's a good thing. Why you blowing all that smoke around Canton, Ohio out of Mississippi, audio man, reading your mail. Yeah, vote in on that. Oh, good lord, in 10 quarters. Better have just put this dog on uh, clear glass in my hand and took a lid off of it. I'm looking at it and it's blue. I'm curious to what it's going to taste like, too. Hold on, give me a minute here. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's why I like it. God dog, man, that tasted like uh, 
Um, man, that don't taste like no Jolly Rancher to me. It tastes more like, um, doggone, uh, when you get sick and mama breaks out the spoon and she puts some of that doggone medicine on there. Yeah, it does. It, ta it, it tastes like doggone, uh, medicine to me. I'm trying to think what it's called, but boy, it don't, woo, damn, that's some strong stuff. Huh? Do I want some more? Listen to her. I think uh, I think the better half trying to get me buzz there, break. That's it. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Castor oil. <laughs> Whoo! Talk about a bite, man. <laughs> I think she's trying to do something here. You think she's trying to take advantage of me, dear? Go ahead. Yeah, Vodin, I think she's going to try to, uh, uh, well, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> she said, Mama said, take your medicine. God, no, she thinks, she, uh, they say you can't rape the willing, but I think she's going to do her best tonight there, Frank. Good God <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is, uh, it looks real good. I have to admit, I like the color of the blue of this duck plug up. I mean, I do. I like the look of that doggone blue right there. Wait till you see the doggone color of that doggone blue jar. Hold on, man. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll even set it up to where you can really see what I'm talking about. Hold on here. Let, let, let me get it right up in that duck plug up real quick. <clears throat> let me see what I can do right here. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see, is it this one right here? Nope, it ain't that one right there. Hold on, hold on now. I'm getting it together. I'm getting it together. It should be that one right there. Put that jar right up there. See how blue that duck pucker is? Mmm, my, my, my. <laughs> God, dog, she's just going to drink it on up. Look at that mess. I'm going to give me a duck fucking uh, swallow of it. Oh, God, dog. <laughs> Woo! Damn, that looks like a rough shit there. Man, I'm going to tell you what. It's something. It's something. <laughs> I mean, it's blue like a dog on Smurf, man. Let me tell you what. But, man, I don't know if I really like the taste of it there. Go ahead. <laughs> I think if it gives her the buzz and it gives me the buzz, that's what she wants. You know what that is. She wanted to take uh, advantage of old audio, man. Man, I'm in trouble. <laughs> that's like I tell you what, I'm in trouble. She going to do something to me and... uh uh, I'll have to keep the kids awake. That's what I'm going to do. I, I'm going to keep the kids awake, and I'll be just fine. <laughs> I heard on. She's going to make sure the kids go to bed before I pass out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who it is. Uh, somebody where she works at has uh, been hooking her up lately. She come home the other night, well, probably about a week or so ago, with some doggone pineapple stuck down in this doggone jar. And she tried to feed that mess to me, too, dear go ahead. Yeah, man. Let me go ahead and shut down this doggone video gate here real quick. Or uh, something goes wrong. <laughs>